Hi there, my name is Megan and I'm part of the machine learning operations team at Macro Eyes. So Macro Eyes is an AI company and one of our main focuses is in healthcare systems, working to make them more intelligent and resilient, for example by forecasting at scale. And we've helped ministries of health and other clients improve their supply chain and better prepare for their future demand. This is critical for products such as essential medicines and vaccines, especially. One of the systems that we use um, as our input data for modeling is DHIS2, so which stands for the District Health Information um, Systems. And it's currently used in around 70 or over 70 countries around the world specifically in Africa, which is where um, a lot of our work is currently focused. So sometimes we get access to the DHIS2 API to access the data we need for the country. However, sometimes we don't, and we need to work with the in-country team to facilitate getting access to that data. So API stands for Application Programming Interface, and in software it is the intermediary between two applications, allowing them to talk to one another. So think of it as the bridge between us and the database storing the data in DHIS2. We use the API to get the data we need without actually accessing the database. The benefit is that all DHIS2 instances around the world use the same API. So this demo is to help show others how to get some of that information and data from DHIS2, specifically using the API through your web browser. At this stage, we are not yet looking at the actual facility level data recorded per month, but rather what we term the metadata, for example, about organizational units and data elements. This is the kind of data that we need to kickstart a modeling project, and the first step is to see what kinds of data a country is specifically recording in DHIS2, for example, about um, stock-related data. So I'm going to be using the demo site for DHIS2, um, which is available here at this, this URL. And you can log in, anyone can log in and play around with these um, credentials. So I'm going to log in here, admin as the username and password is district. So we've landed on the home page for DHIS2 and this might look familiar to you. Um, and the first thing to take note of is what your what we call base URL is for your DHIS2 instance. So for this one, it's play.dhis2.org, whereas you will have a slightly different um, URL for your country instance. This refer this next number refers to the um, version of DHIS2 that you're using, and then you can see here that we're currently viewing the dashboard. The first thing to do is to remove this piece as we aren't interested in the dashboard. And what we want to do is to look at um, the API. So the first thing to do is to type API. And then I'm going to show you some different endpoints. So let's take a look at um, the main one, which is um, organizational units. Um, so I'm going to type organization, you can see I've already got it here in my browser, organization units. This brings up the XML and you can see here that there's, um, it gives us this, in this demo there's about this 1,333 organizational units and what it's done is listed the ID um, that's stored in DHIS2 and the name for each of the, the organizational units. And here you can see you've just got about 50. If you want to see all of them, you would have to enter um, paging equals false so that it doesn't limit to 50. And now you can see there's a much longer list and this is all 1,300 plus organizational units. 
So the first step is we want to get the metadata about these organizational units. And we, can, we don't want the XML, we either want to download a CSV file or a, um, a JSON uh, file, which I'm going to show you. So I've prepared some um, uh, examples for what this looks like. So in this text file, the first one, you can see I've got base URL, which was that URL I was talking about, slash API. Our endpoint that we're looking at is organizational units. Then first we specify the file type that we want to download, and we're going to look at .csv. We can just enter this, and it'll give us information, um, the base information, which is normally just the ID and the name, as was shown here. However, we want to get as much information about organizational units as possible. So this is why we specify additional fields. For example, um, the name, the parent um, IDs. So this will give us the hierarchy. So for example, a facility belongs to a district, which belongs to a province. Um, a description, the opening dates, um, and any contact information, and importantly, the coordinates. So I'm going to copy this line and paste it in my browser. So you can see here after API and I press enter and straight away it's downloaded a CSV. So if I open up this CSV, you'll see now that not only do we have the name and the ID for the organizational units, we also have additional information about them. However, in the CSVs, the information that we can download is also a little bit limited. You'll see here I specified that I also wanted the parent um, and children IDs and importantly the coordinates. So we often can't get this information from the CSV. This is where JSON, so JSON is just a different type of um, data format, is useful. So this is exactly the same URL, but now I've just changed the extension to .json, and I'll show you what that looks like. So if I place this in here and press enter. So this is now JSON that we get back. It's not very pretty, but um, as you can see, if we look closely, we can see some of the information that we are interested in. So for example, for this first uh, facility, if we go along, we can see the opening dates. And then importantly, we have this parent ID and then whether it has any children. So facilities are the lowest level, so they won't have any children. And this is the information that we are specifically looking for. So to save this, what I can do is Control A and Control C, and then open up a text editor. So I'm just going to open up a new one. I'm going to paste that in here. It's going to just be a really long line, but that doesn't matter. And click Save. I'm just going to save it in my downloads and call it Organization Units.json. So this is now the file that we will use to extract that information. So that was organizational units. Let's take a look at no another one of the key endpoints that we are interested in, which is specifically data elements. So if I go back to my web browser and let's just type in data elements, I'm going to remove this part and type in data elements. Here you can see we are looking at what data elements are recorded in DHIS2 on the demo site. So for example here we have one that's called additional medication, um, acute flaccid paralysis. So this is for us this is important to see what is actually stored and what data we can use as inputs. So to, to follow the same process as before I've got um, two URLs here. The first one will download a CSV, the second one the JSON with the same information. 
here what we're looking for specifically is the display name, um, a description, what type of data it is, whether zero is significant, and then which data element group it belongs to. This is um, also important for us to be able to um, group data together. So let's just take a look at the CSV for now, as that's easier to view rather than the JSON. I'm going to paste this in here and press enter. And this downloads a CSV for us, which I'll open up. And now here we can see um, what we get. So we've got the, um, the code, a description of what um, it is, and we've got the display name, what type it is, and a short name. So we would now go through this and identify which specific data elements we are interested in for um, modeling for forecasting. Again, we would rather have the JSON file, so you would follow a similar process as before using .json instead of .csv. And the last one is the data element groups. So that's all I have uh, for today. Please do let us know if you have any more questions. And if we are working with you on this, we really look forward to what we can do together. Thanks.